Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to take a look at the Let Pot Senior Hydroponic System. It's a 24 watt light, uh, 12 gross sites, holds 5.5 uh, liters of water. Uh, I looked everywhere for my um, power tester to measure the wattage. Can't find it. So I do have my uh, Apogee sensor so I can do a power reading. Yeah, so they said this to me uh, to review. So uh, let's go ahead and Take it, open it up, take a look. Everything's kind of compact, pretty neat. Pull this bag off. is up pretty tall. I don't have a, I don't remember what the actual height is, but it's, it's not too bad. Um, we got a little water level indicator. Some power. The, uh, grid baskets. And this tube thing is probably goes over the water level indicator and some little booms. These look like they're Probably compatible with Aragorn. They look like the same, same kind of uh, baskets. So A and B nutrients. Some little uh, plant markers. Gray sponges pop inside there. Some literature. Plant food guide and user manual. I remember the product page said that you could connect or download an app and uh, connect to it or Wi-Fi. So there's some instructions on that. I'll get that set up and demonstrate it. So I got some gardening tips. And I know there are a lot of um, units like this on the market, but I've heard really good things about the lead pot company and that they've, if there have been issues, they've been very responsive and supporting the product. I was going to grow some basil or something. I think I've got a bunch of plants in this sprout that need to come out, the extras. And um, so I think I'm going to take one or two out of here and just go ahead and set them up in the lead pot system. And then I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate the Wi-Fi connect to, you know, the app stuff, and then uh, I'll do a par reading. All right, I've got this set up and power's on. It's in veg mode. Uh, the pup is running. Let's see how that pup works. It kind of oxygenates the water by disrupting the surface of the water. It exposes more uh, the water to air. It's real subtle, but these systems work. They don't really super oxygenate the water, but they do well enough. That. And I measure this actually goes up to about 19 inches max. I mentioned I didn't know earlier. And I've got my uh, Apogee sensor to test the light. Okay, so it's going to kind of move. This is um, seven inch, seven and a half inch height, so it's six inches above the top of the sensor. So let's kind of move this around. You can see the PPFD value change. So six inches on this side, a little under 200. A little stronger right there. And it drops off a little bit. So at a few inches under, estimated about two and a half inches under, it's around 300-ish. So you probably want to keep this as the plants uh, get a little bigger. At the height now, it could uh, for seedlings, I would drop it um, a little, maybe an inch or so lower, and then a uh, mature plant for this size uh, system, I would keep it about three inches above canopy to give it enough light. And this is how the LED lights look. 
on the panel. It's got a nice mix of red, blue, and white. I, probably, I was gonna put two, I think I'm just gonna put one pepper plant. I've got a bunch of extras I need to move out. They're overdue, so I'm gonna probably put it in the center. It seems where the most light is to see how it rolls. That'd be a quick way to do a grow test instead of waiting on something to germinate and whatever. Um, here's a little water level indicator I showed you before. Uh, a couple of things I noticed that's cool with this system. Um, hey, let me go back to the light. Um, one thing I did notice, uh, this is the veg mode. Um, switch it to power, I mean to flower. I don't know if they can tell with the camera, but it's a little warmer. Switch back to veg, it's just to like a cooler bluer. And I ran a test on it earlier and it's slightly less powerful in the uh, flower mode than the veg mode. One thing that's cool with this system is it's compatible, fully compatible with air garden uh, baskets and sponges. Um, one thing I want to point out is, uh, and somebody mentioned this to me and it makes good sense, but um, see the center stuff there? You want to cut that out, kind of like I've done here. I actually need to clean these up and kind of cut them a little closer. But what that'll do is prevent these uh, the roots from getting as tangled if you leave it like this you have a mess trying to pull the plant back out so i recommend cutting that little center piece out before you start and the sponges also compatible with air garden they um they work just fine and i'll show you on an air garden to show you how these fit like this is a harvest elite so they fit just fine and also uh the spacer or like little hole covers. These are, uh, I've got some Aragarden brand in here, but these are third party, but they, they fit fine. So you can buy the, you know, these for this system as well to block out. So I'll probably have, um, yeah, I think I'm, I might be short one. I got some more work, but I'm going to have all of these covered except for I've got the plant and uh, keep algae out. Okay. So, uh, transplanted actually two of the Mako Akakasrade plants. In my experience, they do well in small containers and fruit relatively soon. So uh, it's a capsicum chinense from Africa. I think it'll be fine to grow these. So um, anyway, so those are done. And I'm going to show how the uh, lead pot app works. So I've got, so I've already got this set up. I mean, um, this is the senior I've got. And you can change the LED mode from vegetables to flowers. And I don't know if you noticed that it switched to flower mode and the lighting was a lot warmer. So I'm going to switch that back. You can also turn the pump on and off. And I think this turns the power off. Turn that back on and you can adjust the um, lighting however you want. Right now it's set for 16 hours but you could increase that by setting your on and off um, values there. So that's very configurable and you can figure your DLI based on those readings I gave on like say two and a half inches above canopies about 300 ppfd. There are some, I'll put a link in the description, but there's some uh, D easy DI, uh, DLI, sorry, DLI calculator, daily light integ integral calculators to give you the total um, light over time. So if you plug in your PPFD and number of hours, you can, um, it'll give you your value and um, I'll, I'll give you some reference on what um, different plants should be. Um, so that give you an idea of how long to set your time for. Looks like a pretty cool system. I like the app controls. Uh, it's very basic. They have a more advanced model that has all kinds of other features. I, they asked me to review it initially and I was like, yeah, then they said they were making some optimizations to it. So they offered me this one. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll try this out. So I'll probably have the other model at some point. I'll show you how that looks. Uh, and I'll do another update after these grow a little and show how it's doing. I've got some Dynagro 795 nutrients in here. I didn't use the ones that came with. Just, um, I just have some Dynagrel and I, I've had good success with it. And 
these type of systems. So yeah, so thank you for watching. I'll, I'll post some updates in the future. And uh, thank you, Lightpot, for allowing me to try the system out. And um, if you like that, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.